This video will show how to annotate your title block according to different workset properties. So right now you see I'm in the workspace and this work set, and these are the properties that you can annotate. So you can come in here, you can add any type of custom property that you want. I've already entered a county name and the state, so, and then here you can just type it in for each project. So you want to place this annotation in the DGNlib that contains the title block. So if I go to Browse, I'm in C, Program Data, Bentley, Open Roads Designer, Configuration, Organization, Civil, my Civil Standards, Imperial, DGNlib, Sheet Seats. Okay, I want to edit this Plan Sheets DGNlib. So I'm just going to select it, click Open. Okay, so here's my title block within my sheet. If I go to File Properties, you can see the properties for the specific DGNlib. We have our workset properties here. So there's my county name and state. So say I want to put it over here within this title block. I'm going to just drop a cell element. That way I can come in here and change. So I'm going to replace this with the project name. This is going to be my Madison County. So in the drawing production, open roads modeling drawing protection, place text. I'm going to use this insert field. My field type I'm going to set to file properties and hit OK. And then I'm going to go down and select the name of my work set that I want to add there. So I'll click OK. You can see it populate here. You can set the style. And then come in and place it in your title block. OK, so then next I want to enter my other field. So I'll hit OK. And I want to add this field right there. And one more. And like I said, you can add any, you know, this is totally customizable. So yours, is, you're probably going to want different types of data here. And you can customize that. This is just a brief example. OK, so you can see the project, the county, the state. It's all right there in the title block. Since I op typically these DG and libs are not associated to a workspace or a work set, so I need to disassociate it. So I'm going to go into this key in and just type in file, select this disassociate work set, hit enter, and then I'm going to close out of open roads and come back in. Okay, so now I'm back in and I have the correct work set selected. So I'm going to browse to where my project is to create the um, sheets. OK, so now I'm in my project DGN. And I'm going to go to the drawing production place name boundary. I'm going to place a plan name boundary and select the center line. I'm going to lock to the start, lock to the stop, data point through. I'm just going to click OK to create it. OK, and now you can see right here it's placed the project. So this is the work set name, Madison County, Alabama. We can go to a different sheet. Let's go to this one here. And you can see it's there as well.